Hello. Nice here. Hollow Knight for the Archipelago randomizer. I was going to do an episode zero to explain everything, but I think I'll just explain it as we go through King's Pass. Um, yeah. Or rather, I'll explain each individual game as we actually visit them. Uh, so, of course, I need to connect to a server for this. And uh, yeah, I've randomized six games together, kind of seven, because there are two copies of Slay the Spire, because it only has 31 items in it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be playing Hollow Knight, Time Spinner, Sonic Adventure 2, The Witness, um, at least one other game. <laughs> oh, Rogue Legacy. Was that six? I'm going to pretend that was six. Definitely didn't miss saying anything. So yeah, my Hollow Knight settings are pretty similar to when I did randomizer through the, the standard randomizer before. Um, except I have uh, randomized dreamers off, so the dreamers are going to be at the dreamers. Uh, since it's archipelago randomizer, uh, the geopiles could have been randomized, but they aren't. But they're gonna explode in one hit and it'll say 15 Geo or whatever in the corner. Also, the lifeblood, it's a pickup. Because, uh, this randomizer doesn't really distinguish between randomized and non randomized locations, which also means that we, uh, allegedly have like 680 something items, I think. But I think actually there are like 300 to 400 locations. Anyway, gonna pick up whatever this is. Ah, I found a cosmetic item. Excellent. I'm gonna look cool in Time Spinner. <laughs> oh yeah, I do actually have focus. I thought about turning on randomized focus, but uh, I'm still not that brave. I was just leaving the tutorial up there like I couldn't actually focus. Uh, if I had turned on randomized focus, that, uh... The lore tablet that explains focus would have had a chest in front of it. And yeah, I still have randomized nail like last time. See, looking in the shops is going to be very important, of course. Like, if I could rescue Sly this video, that would be excellent. Yeah. Got bench warp mod still. Also, I need to turn on map mod. If I can find my M key. <laughs> oh. <sighs> ba panada. Jungle pop-up wall in the witness, but I don't have sound dots yet, so that wouldn't do anything. Grimchild is here. That'll make the tent appear, which leads to more checks. Oh. Also, there's a hint system which just wrote down all those shop items for me. Or at least the important ones. I think it had to be categorized as progression or at least useful. I'm going the wrong way. Want to defeat the big guy for the treasure. Because, like, if I don't do this now, I don't know when I'm coming back for it. I guess with map mod, something would remind me. Now you want to do your sphere one checks. Ow. Ow. <laughs> 
not really time to heal. He'll just slam me. Okay, we got him. We earned a high ether. And then just back to the left, right? I guess I could bench warp. But like, it's not that long. Get a little geo, because that's often important early. Alright, let's check the sign at the Grub Father. Ow. Crossroad Stag is pretty worthless. Crimson Vortex isn't progression. A card draw for Ironclad. 5,000, okay. A Charm Notch at 11, that's nice. Okay, so I think the only progression in here is Sky Runes for Rogue Legacy. Um, could be logically required for Fairy Chests. Um, that game expects you to um, have some sort of movement upgrade before fairy chests become in logic. Uh, that could include the dragon class. It doesn't have to be like a rune. All right, what are you selling? Old coat. Uh, nah. <laughs> Choco. All right, so all the way around. I guess there's a grub over to the left. It's possible to get in vanilla. Instead of a grub, you are frozen spires. Again, that's just combat. I haven't found any progression yet. But a lot seems to be going to Time Spinner so far. I guess it is one of the games that has more items. I think the Witness is like 90 items, Time Spinner is like 180. Um, I think Sonic Adventure 2 with my current settings is around 170 something. Uh, and so yeah, a, a game that's put more items into the item pool is going to get more items as well. I should be actually hitting those geo rocks, but don't feel like it. That one was less out of the way. So it is good to hit geo rocks, so I actually make progress towards unlocking hints. Uh, if you check 10% of the locations in your game, you unlock a hint. Oh, not by a rancid egg. I don't have the um, egg shop turned on, so Confessor GG is just his normal behavior. Uh, you can have it set so that rancid eggs act kind of like grubs, but with Confessor GG. 
So he'll give you random stuff as you collect eggs. But with these settings, eggs are not progression. Oh, the Geo mark was from Boss Geo. Of course. Ow. Oh wait, that's not a good place to try healing. Okay, can heal up before phase two. I don't have a spell to deal with this. I guess I can pick this up now. Vampire runes. That'll be convenient once I have the enchantress. Ow. Uh. All right, got him. Sly. And he's talking about Oro and. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he can tell just by looking at us that we know how to wield our nail. Because he's the nail sage. Uh, I should probably open the shortcut over here. Although, I can't imagine when I'd use it. Uh, yeah, just. And warp back to stag station. And yeah, I found that uh, you can bench warp directly from the map. It's uh, much more convenient than trying to find it in the list of locations. All right, so. Sure wish I could attack sideways. Hundred essence. That was technically Gorb's boss essence. Looking at the uh, server log. Cause yeah, the uh, those bosses are gonna have random stuff on them too. Also, I can't actually make use of that secret passage I opened up until I have Crystal Heart. <laughs> you can actually get the enemy to break that open, I've seen. One of those big club guys. Oh, I should probably say, um, part of the plan is that I'm gonna play every game once before I play any game twice. But uh, after that, it'll be kind of based on what I actually get items for. Because I have turned progression balancing off, for anyone familiar with that. Uh, it just basically makes it so that everybody gets some items if you have it on. Um, within some, like, limits. It's not perfect. It's mostly for when you're playing together with other people at the same time. I am playing by myself, asynchronously with myself. So... I thought I'd just make it full random and see where the items lead. Yeah, we do actually want to win this fight, not just escape through the wall. Because, uh... There's a chest that could have something important in it. But I jumped early for a moment. Uh oh. Okay. Fine. Uh, we're, we're fine. We have hit points. He doesn't. Magnetic.
Magnetic Shield. So the first time we load up a level in Sonic Adventure 2, I'll immediately be granted a Magnetic Shield. Charm Notch. I don't have any charms yet, but cool. I like Charm Notches. Uh, yeah. We get vanilla... Uh, Shade Soul location. Or no, Vengeful Spirit. Shade Soul's the second one. And it was actually the dream nail. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I can't actually do this area. I can't even break the first of the wooden things that's going to be above me. All right. Thanks for the dream nail. Looks like there's something over at the right I could get. Also, let's uh check Sly's shop. My F for 4 Geo. Penguin Ring. A Relic for the Watcher. Tails' is Bazooka. Wait, is, is that the thing that makes your lock-on attacks bigger? Or does... I think it's the one that actually lets you break metal crates. So that's progression. Progressive Stars for the Witness. Oh yeah, the description is a little different depending on how important it is. Uh, it appears to be a strange artifact from another world, means it's categorized as junk. Somebody probably really needs it, means it's a progression item. Uh, every item in Slay the Spire is considered progression, because they let you get farther in the game. There's actually logic related to uh, how much stuff you have that determines how far it expects you to be able to get. Um. <laughs> this is the description for a trap item. Uh... <laughs> Uh, the Witness is going to have Slowness Traps and Power Surge Traps. Power Surge Traps are never going to get to do anything because I'm playing this asynchronously, so I'll never be in the middle of a puzzle when it arrives. But it just kills the current line you're drawing. Uh, slowness is going to make me slow for like 20 seconds. Um, and there, there is another description in here for if an item is considered useful but not progression. Uh, anyway, I'll buy the bazooka for now. And... Progressive Stars is probably the next thing I'm interested in buying there. Anyway, let's, uh, go get the only other check it's possible for me to get. <laughs> and then call it a video, I guess. I mean, I could farm Geo. But I can also be sent the contents of Geo chests, so maybe we'll, uh just have like a thousand more Geo the next time I'm playing Hollow Knight. Boss Geo also could be sent to me, but not Geo Rocks, because I have those not shuffled. Ow. <laughs> I don't remember that enemy existing in the game, so no wonder I don't know how to fight it. Oh, right, this is the place where... Oh, maybe I should have actually grabbed that Geo Rock. <laughs> Whatever. The Spike Pogos. A Vessel Fragment. Nice, but uh, I think we're done in Hollow Knight for now. Unless... I mean, I could grab some more Geo Rocks. We've got time. But yeah, not gonna be finding any more items at the moment. I do expect Hollow Knight's gonna be one of the games I end up playing a lot of, just because it is big and has items in it. But I'm gonna need something that either uh, is a Lumafly Lantern, or helps me get past an Elder Shield thing, or um, lets me get to Fog Canyon because of movement abilities. before I uh, end up playing Hollow Knight some more. Or Stag Station. It could, it could just be a Stag Station. Maybe we get sent directly to Deep Nest or something. <laughs> we get like left slash right slash and uh, 
What is it? Hidden Village? That, that's possible. Anyway, I remember I skipped like several Geo Rocks along here. Apparently, I should have taken the upper path for that one. Yeah, that's that's all we're doing for the rest of the video. Um. I guess I could explain more stuff about other games, although <laughs> stuff has kind of just come up naturally as I've found stuff. I feel like it's pretty clear that the witness needs its puzzle symbols. Um, although I probably didn't mention that uh, without having a puzzle symbol, I'm just completely locked out of a puzzle. It'll say missing and then show me a little grid that has everything I'm missing related to the puzzle. Uh, the puzzles will be randomized using the uh, Sigma randomizer. Um, they will have the same symbols that they had in vanilla because I'm not playing on hard mode or expert mode or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, there's a bench in here. Should maybe get this. Um, let's see, I guess there's not really anything to explain about Time Spinner. <laughs> I've showed the randomizer multiple times. Has it been multiple times? Maybe it's only been once. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a Metroidvania. <laughs> don't need to explain what happens in a Metroidvania randomizer. Oh, Geo. Um, oh yeah, for the witness, I also need um, to be sent panels that are on doors or else the door panel will just be off. And I won't be able to solve the puzzle and open the door. Uh, so that's also an item. And that's why it's like 80 some items instead of like 20 items. Uh, wait, I've already been over here. Get that grub. How much did progressive stars cost? It was 200 something. I guess I could fight Brooding Malak out of logic with only down slash. That uh doesn't sound fun. I would like at least left slash or right slash first. I think I could beat him with just that. Although wait. Uh last time I fought Brooding Malak. My weaponry wasn't great, but I had <laughs> Shade Cloak and Mothwing Cloak, uh, which makes it way easier to dodge the upwards, like, big spray attack. I could probably still do it with just, like, dash. for their two geo. There we go, 15. Can I afford stars? Let's see, what does the first level of stars do? I think the first level of stars just lets you solve puzzles where stars match with stars. And then after that, it's, um, stars can be the same color as other things, if you have both levels of progressive stars. I'm just gonna buy my F. There's one specific room that I like having a attacking familiar in if I don't have time stop. Um, it's to hit a guy that sends barrels down a hill. <laughs> um... But anyway, I think there's not really anything else for me to be doing in Hollow Knight, so we're gonna end the video just a little early. Yeah.